Yeah. I think it was an awesome scene, both both the, the attacks. But I do want to see how it was all done. You know, like... Right. That's that's why I bring it up, because I think it was a, a, right. an awesome part. Well, you, part. you never know. That that might be a feature on the uh, on the DVD when it comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, I'm looking forward to the DVD because of the fact... Um, I think you and I had talked about it at one time, Rick, that... Um, in the DVD, uh, you know, uh, with Negan, he doesn't hold back. He uh, he swears like a sailor oh, in the DVD. And any, any possible combination of the yes. F-bomb you can uh-huh. think of, hmm. Negan covers it and then does two better. Yeah. yeah. They say just the by DVD. his expressions, you could tell that he's F-boffing, F-boffing, F-bombing. Every yeah. time he talks, yeah. just by his expressions on the show. Well, that's what I, I that's what I hear. The, you know, they have to do two takes of every scene. Yeah. Well, one is the AMC approved take, and then well, the next one is the Negan take. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's so, that's so really... with King Zeke, now that I'm looking at them and, and the size of their group, and I know they have other, other people training, um, without Carol... Going into that battle, okay, Carol just does not look right in that uniform, okay? But we, they needed her <laughs> in that battle. They needed her in that battle. She so, looked awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no she, they should have gave her some more training in the uniform is all I meant to say. But I was happy she was in the battle because they needed her and she did awesome in the battle. But uh, going into that battle, I'm looking at King Zeke's army now. They they need a lot more training than officially I officially thought. And I, how do you guys feel about the training so so far of Hilltop and King Zeke, knowing that they're going to be facing the saviors who have maybe thousands and not hundreds of men and women soldiers. Well, yeah, I I, I got to agree with you there. You know, when, when they when they stormed Alexandria, everything was all chaotic, and you know nobody really knew what was going on. Uh, I, I will agree with you there. I do, I do think they need to be a little more organized. Yeah, a little it, more, you know, a little, a little more organization because you know once this war gets started, you know that that there's only there's only so often that you're going to be able to get away with that. Doesn't just running in with all guns blazing. You know, you need, you're going to have to have strategy at some point. Yeah. And that's that's what uh that's what it boils down to. I think cousin Dave said that too on in in one of the chats. He says they need to regroup and get that get that settled to where everybody knows where they're supposed to be. And I think now after this just happened, I think everybody, all the groups that are connected now has to stay together. They can't go back to where they were at. Hilltop, no. Alexandria, and King Zeke's men all have to be in the same spot. They're, if they separate again, all all Negan They're has dead. to do is just They're attack dead. one of those groups. So if so, if we if say 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 season eight opens up and and Alexandra's just Alexandria, Rick and the guys, it's over. They just wipe them out just like that. There's not going to be right. a set a set time battle or anything like that. I mean, uh, of course, it's going to be all out war season eight from what we know. But they're not going to, so what all I'm saying is that they need to all come together and they all have to live together now, basically. I know it's going to be kind of hard and is there going to be the room and where is the best place to do this? But uh, it's, that's the only way I see it for them to be safe, to be ready to go into this all out war. Okay, my opinion was I thought there were going to be a lot more people from the kingdom there than there was. See, that's what I was um, saying. That's what that's what I'm trying to get so out of I, uh, well, I think they were going there to regroup. I don't think they were expecting Negan. I think when they came upon, no, that, you know, no, that's a, that's a good point. They 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 were they were heading out. You know, there was uh, there was Zeke, there was Morgan, there was Carol, and a few others. Well, they, they did they didn't expect to be running into a firefight. Exactly. So they're gonna have to go back. They gotta get the. They gotta get everybody. You know, uh, more. They gotta get on the people thing. involved. Yeah, because right. I I did mention that when King Zeke left. I know. I know. Carol came to him and said, "We gotta fight." He said, "Not now, but we're we're going to." 
But when he took off with all the men, I thought he was going to, like, to Negan to say, you know, we're, we're going to have a battle or he was going to go. And then after that, go back and, and talk with Rick and Hilltop and, and try to get things figured out. Because now th- there's no way around. This is a battle now. It's it's battlegrounds. And that's well, it. There's no, there's, that's there's no, there's no way looking back all now. War. Yeah. There's no way looking well, back. Same with Maggie. I know there were more people there than they had with them. So I don't think they were expecting Negan to be there. Well, no. uh, you know, I don't think really anybody expected what happened happened. Um, so, but they have to get more people, more organized. Okay. And I think they should start, start hitting the outposts. I like, I know it's not a big part of the big part of it, but it is, it is a little bit because a lot of people are worried. So in the fight with Michonne, what what uh, mm-hmm. what did she get hit in the eye with? No, I heard I, the reason I bring it up because I know people are rude on on social media, and I go there's and people were saying there oh there's two patches in the family now and stuff like that. No, but to, uh, seriously, uh, what actually what did she actually get hit with? Because I didn't I didn't see I I looked at it a couple times. She was just beating her to half to death. She just yeah. beating on. It, I it, I Basically. thought she had got. Pop with the butt of the the rifle, and that's what did that to her eye. Or did you guys see anything else there that I missed? No, I don't, I don't think. So. I don't think so. Uh, uh-uh. no, it was just a major butt beating. Yeah. They were at each other, and I'm over here like, come on, Stone, you can beat her. But <laughs> you got to remember, you know, J- Jadis, you know, that they've probably been training in their own way. You know. Oh yeah. You know. They've been living in that junkyard. Okay, so real quick, but we're going to take a real quick break. And um, one thing I want to bring up, I will bring it up real quick. I know you wanted to talk about it earlier, Denise. Uh, Jadis. Okay, so this is why I thought Jadis was really with Rick and them. Is because she said that she was going to be with Rick after the battle was over, after the fight was over. Yeah, her actual words is... I will lay with him after this is. I will lay yeah. with him after afterwards. Yeah, you you care? <laughs> I had a I had a pop to it. Like, so poor Rick could so, care. Yeah. <laughs> poor, poor Rick can't get out of there fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> and the show should have beat her butt. I know. <laughs> so yeah, I know you wanted to talk about it. I wanted to talk about it. I don't know how Rick felt about it, but I was I was like. Um, I kind of felt like, kind of like, uh, <laughs> I was just disturbed by that by that scene. And the, and the, oh God, the look on his face is like, wait, what now? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's then, like he really and then wasn't did you, expecting this. Did you, did you see Michonne's <laughs> face though? Michonne was like, yeah, Michonne. I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> she gave her the look like, yeah, say it again. I'm gonna be, yeah, bring it. <laughs> So I, you know, much. I, so yeah, we we brought it up. We can laugh at it, you know. Yeah, I know and it was pretty funny. I could believe in the in, you know, like to say something like that. Uh, you know, she's knowingly going to take right. them over, <laughs> and I'm like, right there. <laughs> I was like, wow, where did that come from? I know that that was the that was one of the craziest well, scenes that they they've put out there for a while. But you, maybe Rick should have given her cap back. I don't know. <laughs> you, you're live on KBLP with Ike Diaz and Denise Harris with our special guest, Rick, tonight. We're going to go into a quick break. Make sure that you answer the trivia questions. You can inbox us. You could write it in the chat. Um, it's a Las Vegas package, so make sure you do that. It's it's going to be awesome. It's a, a, a two-person package, so make sure you um, write it in the chat or inboxes, but you got to make sure to hit the like button and the follow button, and you have an opportunity to win a very good trip. So once again, you're live with Ike Diaz, KVLP, with Denise Harris and our special guest, Rick, with our season two, part two finale of TWD, The Walking Dead. And we will be right back in just a minute. Thank you, guys.
Brooklyn, Mr. Ike Dog. We from the city of the smoke, but we don't call. We steady going slow and something classic just to show one. Ooh, when it's cold, like, hold on. All you other rappers act hard, but we know you're so soft. When you try to get some sleep and you doze off, we hit the streets and we go mob. You can see the flames coming from these arms. We get something different to the game. We under the city lights and we switching in the lanes. You're still on your kitty bike, and you're such a lame. You remain the same while we go against the grain. That's where we increase the speed limit. Mobbing in that horse cover, someone like C. This hit man, you're such a gimmick. And me, you try to mimic. While I'm rocking my D-Town pit, and I'm so ambitious. Why won't I put the key in the ignition? Yeah. Rolling over the competition with my driven vision. Cloud for control of my path, I'm moving gripping. This is an addiction. Why you can't pass emissions? Cause you say in same position by blowing the transmission. What the missing in your chicken? The way I make the competition disappear. I should be a magician. To run against I dog and it was chopper was a bad decision. I keep the heat in the winter, mile high, bomb, 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 b